Stewart. It's my privilege to introduce myself. It's my privilege to walk in the kingdom of God. It is my 20 years in the ministry. And it's a real privilege to walk in the state of Arunachal Pradesh right now. We also have a training program and we train every year students. And they are going out and planting church, doing evangelism work. They are working as pastors. So many of them are now involving in a ministry. They are planning church, they are doing good ministry, and we are so happy that we could ever train them and send them out for God's kingdom ministry. And also it's a privilege to meet Reverend Owen Moller in the year 2003, and since then we have been working together, partnering in king, uh, building God's kingdom over this, especially northeastern state of India. And through his ministry, we are also very much blessed and especially we have been conducting crusade. Many people are healed. Many people could see miracles. And through that, many people are coming to know Jesus Christ. And I'm so happy to see the churches are now reviving. They are growing now. And there are still so many work to be done, even in this part of Northeast. And the churches are growing. But at the same time, we also see a lot of churches, they are church but no leaders to look after the church and we see a lot of need to train many young people to equip the church as a whole so as we see the need we also had a privilege to give a pastor leaders training through a servant uh, Reverend Owen Moller and through his teaching preaching especially his grace teaching is a real impact to our church leaders and for many years our churches has been working so hard without fruit and then we have been working so hard without seeing the result and also working so hard with so much of burden stress and then we feel ourselves that we are wear out but after his teaching especially on grace teaching now our church leaders are very much blessed and then now they could able to see the work of god in their life and now they find themselves real race and peace in serving the Lord because they could ever to come to know that it is not I but it is Christ who walk in us and it is now fully depending not to ourselves but to the work to the finished work of Jesus Christ. So through that now our church leaders they are very much blessed and they could ever to find race in serving the Lord. Even myself for many years I also understood uh, serving the Lord is something that I must do. And I've been working tirelessly every day. And I thought that this is what I need to do, this is what I need to do. But now after knowing the teaching of grace in my life, now I came to know that it is not I who is doing, but I have to just take in the race in Jesus Christ. And that is Jesus who do ministry through my life. So now I can find grace in serving the Lord. And today I could able to see the transformation of churches even as we go to them and teach them the, uh, the grace of God to the people and then now the churches are coming to understand and now they could find more race in being a Christian and also in serving the Lord. So it's my privilege to work together with Owen Moller and we look forward not only now even days to come because there's still so many work to be done in this part of the land and the churches really need this teaching and there's so much teaching need to be done even in the My name is Mankai Wangsu 
and uh, I am the first convert among the Wanchos, and uh, I'm so happy to uh, come into contact with uh, Reverend Owen Moller and uh, Pastor William and Reverend Stewart, and we have enjoyed uh, healing crusade here at Kampu, and this is the fourth. Uh, healing crusade among the Wanchos with uh, our Owen Moller and many people will get healed and we enjoy it and uh, we look forward that uh, the people will be healed continually and uh, we still look forward for this kind of blessings even in the days to come and uh, uh, I could translate uh, the Bible in the Wancho uh, language, both the old and the new. And uh, now our Old Testament is uh, going to be uh, printed and we are expecting to come out in this year 2011. And uh, we have already uh, anti in our hand, people are reading and uh, people are so happy uh, with our own Bible having in our own hand. And with this kind of healing crusade, uh, uh, we are experience, experiencing a new uh, kind of spiritual changes. Uh, the touch of the Holy Spirit, many people uh, were healed, so many kind of sicknesses we are healed and I hope uh, there will be changes, great changes in the spiritual life among the one Jews. Mm -hmm.